Welcome all. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about wave propagation in conducting medium. See, here the word conducting medium can also be said that lossy medium. Because whenever the wave or the electromagnetic wave propagates in a conducting medium, then there are number of losses occur during its propagation. That's why the conducting medium can also be said that lossy medium. A lossy medium can be described as a medium where some fraction of power of an electromagnetic wave is being lost as it propagates in the medium. And these losses can only be occur in this type of medium that is known as conducting medium. So here is the reason that's why we can call this conducting medium as a lossy medium. And why this losses occur? This losses is due to the poor conduction only. So this is the reason that's why the losses of the electromagnetic power is being occur. Now let us discuss some parameters on to which the propagation of wave in the conducting medium depends. So the parameters associated for the lossy medium are for lossy medium so the first parameter is conductivity the conductivity can also be represented as sigma now if the wave is propagating in lossy medium that's why its conductivity will neither be equals to zero Moving on to the second parameter that is permeability. Permeability can be denoted by the symbol that is mu. Here in the lossy medium the permeability is always be equals to mu0 mu r where mu0 represents the permeability of free space and mu r is the relative permeability. Moving on to the third parameter that is permittivity. Permittivity can also be represented as epsilon. Here for the lossy medium the permittivity will always be equal to epsilon 0 epsilon r. Here epsilon 0 represents the permittivity of free space and epsilon r is the relative permittivity. There is also a fourth condition that is in case of wave propagation in lossy medium the value of sigma that is conductivity will always be less less than the product of omega and epsilon. So this is most important condition and we are going to discuss this condition in the upcoming derivation. So let's discuss some parameters. This is all about the parameters which are associated with conduction of the wave propagation in conducting medium. Now let us have a look at the propagation constant, attenuation constant, phase constant, phase velocity and intrinsic impedance of a wave while it is propagating in conducting medium. So let's discuss about propagation constant first. Propagation constant can always be represented as gamma and as we discussed that the expression for the propagation constant for the plane wave is gamma equals to under the root j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon. This formula we discussed in the equation of plane wave for the uniform waves. So if we take j omega epsilon as a common then value of gamma will become j omega mu multiplied with j omega epsilon which is taken as a common then sigma 
over j omega epsilon plus 1. Now, since we know that for the lossy medium, the value of sigma is less less than omega epsilon. So, since for lossy medium, sigma is less less than omega epsilon. This means that sigma over omega epsilon is also less less than 1. So this is most important condition and here the term sigma over j omega epsilon is also less less than 1. So we are going to ignore this term in this expression and now the remaining term will be j omega mu j omega epsilon and 1 which is being multiplied so the final value of gamma will become under the root j omega mu multiplied with j omega epsilon because this value is very small and less less than 1 that's why we ignored it and these two terms are multiplied with remaining 1 so our output is gamma equals to under the root j omega mu j omega epsilon if we take j omega as a common out of the square root then gamma will be equals to j omega under the root mu epsilon and since we discussed that for the lossy medium the value of permeability that is mu is equals to mu 0 mu r and the value of permittivity is always be equals to epsilon 0 epsilon r since lossy medium therefore mu equals to mu 0 mu r and epsilon equals to epsilon 0 epsilon r on putting the values in this expression we get our value of propagation constant as j omega under the root mu 0 mu r epsilon 0 epsilon r so this is the final value of propagation constant when the wave propagate in lossy medium now let us have a look at the calculation of attenuation constant when the wave is propagating in conducting medium so the attenuation constant can always be represented as alpha and in the equation of plane wave we derive the value of alpha as alpha equals to omega under the root mu epsilon over 2 in bracket under the root 1 plus sigma over omega epsilon square minus 1 so this is the value of alpha that we derived now for the lossy medium we know that the value of sigma is very less less than omega epsilon So this implies that sigma over omega epsilon is less less than 1 because it is very less quantity. Now in the expression of attenuation constant here is the term that is sigma over omega epsilon. Since it is very less less than 1 so we are going to ignore this term and the remaining term will become alpha equals to omega under the root mu epsilon over 2 in bracket since we ignore this term that's why the remaining thing will be 1 only and this minus 1 as it is so 1 minus 1 will become 0 only so the final value of alpha is nothing but equals to 0 so we can say that when the wave propagates in the conducting medium then the attenuation constant will be equals to 0 only now let us discuss the value of phase constant
so the phase constant can always be represented as beta and in the equation of plane wave we discussed that the value of beta is equals to omega under the root mu epsilon over 2 in bracket under the root 1 plus sigma over omega epsilon whole square plus 1 so this is the value of phase constant for the plane wave now we know that our wave is propagating in lossy medium so for lossy medium the value of sigma over omega epsilon is less less than 1 so we are going to ignore this term also if we ignore this term then the remaining value of beta will become omega under the root mu epsilon over 2 here is 1 only and we are going to ignore this so plus 1 so on summing these two terms it will get 1 1 plus 1 will get 2 and here is 2 in the denominator so this will get cancelled out with this whole term and we get the value of phase constant as beta equals to omega under the root mu epsilon so this is the value of phase constant when our wave is propagating in conducting medium now let us have a look at the value value of phase velocity since the phase velocity can always be represented by vp and the expression for phase velocity as we discussed in the derivation of uniform plane wave as omega over beta now since we get the value of phase constant as omega under the root mu epsilon so here is omega in the numerator and denominator that will cut down and the final expression for the phase velocity will get 1 over under the root mu epsilon so this is the value of phase velocity for lossy medium now let us have a look at the last parameter that is intrinsic impedance since the intrinsic impedance can always be represented by symbol that is neta and the expression for the neta is equals to g omega mu sigma plus g omega epsilon now if we take g omega epsilon common from the denominator part then we get the value of neta that will be equals to g omega mu and g omega epsilon will be taken as a common then it will get sigma over g omega epsilon plus 1 now for the lossy medium sigma over omega epsilon is less less than 1 so we are going to ignore this term and here g omega will get cut down with this g omega so the remaining term that we get as a will be equals to mu over epsilon now for the lossy medium the value of permeability is equals to mu 0 mu r and the value of permittivity is equals to epsilon 0 epsilon r so on replacing the value of permeability and permittivity we get our intrinsic impedance as under the root 
म्यू जीरो म्यू आर ओवर एफ सेलन जीरो एफ सेलन आर इफ वी टेक दिस म्यू जीरो ओवर एफ सेलन जीरो आउट ऑफ द अंडर रूट सेपरेटली देन वी कैन राइट इट एज अंडर द रूट म्यू जीरो ओवर एफ सेलन जीरो अंडर द रूट म्यू ओवर एफ सेलन आर एंड वी नो डेट द वैल्यू ऑफ अंडर द रूट म्यू जीरो ओवर एफ सेलन जीरो इज इक्वल्स टू नथिंग बट वन ट्वेंटी पाई सो इफ वी रिप्लेस दिस वैल्यू देन वी गेट द फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ इंट्रेंसिक इम्पिडेंस डेट विल बी इक्वल्स टू नीटा वन ट्वेंटी पाई अंडर द रूट म्यू आर एफ सेलन आर हियर अंडर द रूट म्यू जीरो और एफ सेलन जीरो इज बींग रिप्लेस विथ वन ट्वेंटी पाई डेट्स वाई वी गॉट दिस एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ इंट्रेंसिक इम्पिडेंस सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द पैरामीटर्स एंड द फैक्टर्स एसोसिएटेड विद द प्रोपोगेशन ऑफ वेव इन कंडक्टिंग मीडियम इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियोज़ दैन डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्लीज़ हिट द लाइक बटन थैंक यू